got the Lenovo soldering iron that just recently came in. It's the BK969S soldering station. What attracted me to this station is the price. It's about $38 right now on Amazon. They're running an $8 coupon. And for that price, I mean, it looks like a decent deal. And this is what it actually looks like. Got it next to my Hacko uh, 888D. And I figured we'd do some comparisons to see um, what the difference is, because the Hackos run about 105 and at $38, this looks really interesting. It's a nice price difference. Uh, the one thing I really like are the tips. Both of these units use the 900M tips, so it's a very easy tip to find. They're not expensive. The Lenovo comes with these tips, so there's five in this bag and there was a tip already installed on the uh, pencil iron. Overall, I like the uh, LCD display. It was the first thing I noticed. It's backlit. It's well lit. The Hacko is uh, LED, which is also fine. I'm going to start off with a simple test first. Um, I have not done this yet. I'm going to turn both units on at the same time. They are set to a default temperature of 750 degrees. I want to see timing wise how both of them perform at a quick warm up. So let's turn them on and let's see how long it takes these to warm up to the correct temperature. Obviously the Hacko is going to beat it by a long shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's about nine or ten seconds longer for the Lenovo to warm up. I don't think that's a big deal, but this way you just have an idea of how quickly they warm up to that determined temperature, which is a good average temperature for soldering. Um, I did some weighing. I'm going to shut these off so we can get the tips to cool down. The one thing that's really noticeable is the base on this versus the base on the Hacko. There's a very big difference. Um, this guy here doesn't really weigh anything. It weighs about 15 ounces. It's very light and the cord, if you tend to pull it, if maybe the cord's a little too short when you're soldering, you'll find this tips forward quite a bit if you're stretching the cord out a bit too long because there's no weight to this at all. The Hacko weighs 43 ounces, so we're talking 43 ounces for the base versus 15 ounces for the Lenovo base. Just as a note so that everybody knows, I mean, it, it's okay, but if you do struggle with the length where you find that you're constantly pulling things, you'll find that this is going to tip forward on you. It is locked in, so this cannot pull out because it uses a twist lock to keep the pencil iron to the, the base. All right. The other thing I really noticed, the one thing I don't like, the Hacko base is 100% metal. There's nothing but metal here. This yellow, maybe it's ceramic. This piece is definitely metal because it's cold. But in any case, nothing here is going to melt when you touch the tip to it. On the Lenovo, disappointingly, this dark blue section is metal. You can feel it, it's, it's cold, and if you touch the warm iron to it, nothing happens. Disappointingly, when I went to clean the tip back here, I missed, I touched the light blue plastic over here. I'll turn it around. You might see it on the camera and you might not, but I, I put a little mark in the plastic over here. This is plastic. I don't know why they would do that because, I mean, anybody over time is going to possibly hit the edge here. They're going to hit the edge over here and you're going to melt it. So it's going to get pl uh, plastic residue on the, the tip itself, which is harder than to clean. I don't know why they would do that. Um, so that 
is a disappointment. Now what I do like is that they use a standard square sponge on the Lenovo and it does include the sponge with the station. But this comes to the other odd part that I don't understand. The sponge is in the back. So let's say you've got this on your, your desk someplace, your workbench and you're soldering, and now you've got to clean the tip. Well, how do you get to it? I mean, you've got to come in from the side to clean the tip. Um, I mean, that's really bizarre. Why they would put the sponge in the back like that. Uh, I don't understand it. It's got holes on the top, but again, if you touch a hot iron to the edges here, it's going to melt the plastic and it's going to get the plastic on the tip or on the barrel. So I'm not really sure what the holes are there for, especially this big one in the middle, because you'd have to be fairly precise when you clean your tip to make sure you don't touch anything. So right now I'm going in at the side when I've got to wipe the tip. Now obviously you can use the thing in the front to clean it. This is okay, but if you got something really sticky to the, uh, the tip, I find the sponge is the best way to get a clean tip. So that's a, a bit bizarre why they made that out of plastic. The Hacko, of course, uh, just has a similar arrangement, but the sponge is not square, so you, you have to either buy Hacko sponges, which cost a lot of money, or you've got to get a regular sponge and then cut it to the shape to fit this unusual size. I weighed the um, pencil tips. The pencil tips are fairly close. The uh, Hacko is 1.9 ounces, and that when I mean pencil tip, I mean this. And the Lenovo pencil tip, it comes in a little bit heavier at 2.1 ounces. I don't really notice a weight difference when I'm carrying it and holding it. It has a good insulated grip here, so you don't feel the iron getting hot. It's good there. Now, something that I'm fussy about is the cord itself. I don't like cords that fight me. This cord's pretty loose. It's not bad. The Hacko is a little bit better. It's a little bit looser, a little bit more spongy, so it doesn't fight you as much. This one on the Lenovo, I'm not going to say it's going to fight you, but you notice that it's stiffer than the Hacko. The big thing that I'm disappointed about, though, is the length of the cord on the Lenovo. The Lenovo cord measured from here to the, the end of the iron, or the beginning of the iron, depending on how you look at it, I measured it to about here, is 10 inches shorter than the Hacko. So this cord on the Lenovo is 37 inches. The cord on the Hacko is 47 inches. So you're going to get an extra 10 inches on this, and I like that because if your workbench is busy and you've got things spread all over the place, having those few extra inches is very helpful. So now if we turn back on the display on the Lenovo, I'll zoom in so you can get a better look at it. It's a nice backlit display. It's easy to read. If you don't want Fahrenheit, that's easy enough to change. You can go into the settings option and change it from Fahrenheit to centigrade. And once it warms up, I'll show you how we do that. Let's say you want to change the Fahrenheit to centigrade. Out of the box, it is defaulting to centigrade. I changed it to Fahrenheit. You would use the setup button in the middle here. You press that once. Up arrow to option number three. Press the setup button. Use the arrow key. Change it to centigrade. Press the setup button again. And now you're set to centigrade. So let's go back to Fahrenheit. We'll press the setup button. Go to option three, press the setup button, and that's how you can change between Fahrenheit and centigrade. There's other options in here to set a password. I don't know why 
you would need a password. I'm not interested in that. Um, accidentally, I changed the temperature. So let's go into the setup. Set temperature is option number one for the default. There's options for pass password. I'm not going to use that. I don't understand who would use that. And there are the options for the presets I have not tried. I don't use presets either. The Hacko also supports presets, but I haven't tried it. Overall, um, I think for under forty dollars, this is some bargain. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with it. I did some soldering with it last night. It performed well. There were no issues. The iron itself is very comfortable to hold. As I said, if you hold it here, it's slightly warm here, but it's not at all uncomfortable.